Uh, but good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you. And as Chris said, this truly is a historic event. Our relationship with the Plumbing Trades Employees Union of Australia goes back several years. I believe the first time they came here to Ann Arbor was 2005. We began to explore the idea that we could work together for the benefit of all of our members at that time. And with the help of our Vice President from the 5th District, Sid Stopler, and my Administrative Assistant, John Lindstrom, this important day has finally arrived. I also want to acknowledge Earl Suches. The Earls worked hard. He's the Secretary of the PTEU, which is like the General President over in Australia. And his enthusiasm and commitment were essential to this whole process. So I want to thank you, Earl. We're about to sign an affiliation agreement with the PTEU that will serve both of our organizations well for many decades to come. Of course, we have a lot in common, but our unions individually have this thin strengths that can be cross-pollinated to make us both stronger, more competitive, and ultimately more secure. The PTEU is a leader in training its members on green technology and water conservation. I don't think anybody is further ahead in green technology and water conservation than Australia. We know we'll learn a lot from our Australian brothers and sisters, but we also can offer them a chance to expand their industrial work and to implement innovative training and certification programs that we've developed here in North America. All in all, it's going to be enormously beneficial for both our organizations in North America and Australia. Let's not forget that we work for our membership and it's our obligation as a union to make sure our training is the best in the world. However, there are two other components that go hand in hand with training. Training in this day and age has to go along with certification. Owners and end users want our members to show up on the job sites with the certifications necessary to perform any and all disciplines of our work. But I'll tell you this, you can have all the training and certifications in the world, but if you show up on the job site with a bad attitude, you become a disruptive force and counterproductive. That's where the UA Standard for Excellence comes into play. It ensures the craftspeople know, what know what's expected of them when they show up on the job site, and they realize that it's our way through the standards or the highway.